Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, AKA MBT, back with another Twitter thread. Get your fill of these. I don't think we're gonna have them for much longer. You just can't help it, that's okay. <laughs> Anyway, today we're talking about products. So if you're unfamiliar, Magic the Gathering a couple of weeks ago revealed that for their 30th anniversary celebration, they're gonna be releasing thousand dollar randomized packs of proxies. This has been completely derided by the player base as one of the most short-sighted, stupid ideas that Wizards of the Coast has ever come up with. So my question to you is, has Konami done worse? Usually the answer to that is yes, but we'll see in the replies below. What is the Konami product that you believe was the most ill-informed, had the least impact or was the most baffling. I'm going to begin with the Speed Duel packs. So if you're unfamiliar before, the Speed Duel boxes became the way that we play and get new cards into the Speed Duel format. There were packs that released at about the same rate as normal packs. The unfortunate part was these packs had zero playable cards in them. I think maybe one Speed Duel pack had any meta impact ever. Add to that the fact that they were four cards per pack and you weren't guaranteed a rare and these felt awful to open. And I should know, I opened a lot of them. Rebecca says, the first maximum gold, a plethora of printing errors, miscuts, awful card quality, all to promote a slightly cooler rendition of a notoriously fan-hated rarity. The reprints were okay, but God, this sucked to open. Maximum gold was fun because it finally answered the question, how common do misprints have to be before players are no longer excited for them? This common. Blazing Vortex, we just opened it on progression playoffs and yeah, it's a snooze fest. The best card in here is Pot of Prosperity and the third best card is White Baker. <laughs> Thanks, Swag. I 100% agree. Yu-Gi-Oh! would be a lot better if this set never released. CJ Alex again says, so we can all agree that this thing fucking rules and everyone wants one, but it's hilarious it just cannot hold cards. We haven't even gotten a modern rework of it. We did get a modern rework of it, but now it's like a collector's item and not something you can actually use. I actually have one, hold up. I draw! <laughs> RJ says, it is hard to top Star Pack 2013, correct. $2 for three of the worst cards you've ever seen printed in the ugliest rarity ever. But worry not, it had a chase card, Utopia, a card so reprinted to death, it was cheaper to buy the single than to buy one Star Pack. For me, it's gotta be Gold Series Haunted Mine. You can get a Ghost Rare in this set, right? Well, the Ghost Rare is guaranteed, which renders them not special at all. There isn't any enjoyment to pulling a Ghost in this set. Above that, they're Gold Ghost Rares. All right, time for my unpopular opinion. I fucking love Haunted Mine. I will play the Ghost Gores all day. My opponent will see the reflection in my shirt. They will know I have Gores. Doesn't matter. It's about intimidation, folks. Ancient Guardians. You know, I will say, these are three archetypes that play completely uniquely and do really fun stuff. Every time I read them, I think these have to be able to do something. And then every time I am taken aback by how dog shit they are. I think we all need to remember early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! video game promos where you had to buy a full price game to get an exclusive card. The worst might be Metal Morph because even if the cards related to it were crap, they were in regular sets. Oh, so to play like Zoa, you had to buy the game? Fun. The V for Victory Super Starter I remember getting as a kid and being disappointed. Imagine how bad a Yu-Gi-Oh product would have to be for you to be disappointed to get it as a child. I don't know why Yu-Gi-Oh does this. Sometimes they'll release a video game that contains a mechanism by which you can play the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game and then they will not ever update it. They are like giving this out as prizing to this day. It doesn't have cards printed after 2018. This is a subtle subtweet about um, Rush Duel Dawn of the Battle Royale. If you spell subtle like this. And then we do the JonTron joke where he says white power. This I fully believe will go down as the worst set of all time. No redeeming qualities. Chase card was short printed into oblivion. It's getting reprinted. Every other card is worthless, including the ghost rare. Yeah, it, it was not a particularly good business move to release all the Lyralisk stuff in here and then immediately ban the Lyralisks. The movie exclusive pack is so fucking funny. I remember seeing it on shelves in like 2012. Like it took them forever to get rid of these. Tag Force and World Championship were fun single-player video games that were released from Konami from 06 to 11. I remember playing those growing up. Then suddenly they stopped making them. Tag Force 6 never made it to the West. So when they came back in 2014 with World Duel Carnival, I felt personally offended. I've never seen this, ever. What is this? Here's a hot take, but in recent memory, this is a pretty bad pack. Looking at the only card worth pulling is Droplet, and it introduced a bunch of cards that either saw relevance for a month or never saw relevant play. Hater, 
hater detected, actual hater detected. This had an immediate impact on the meta. People played Marincess for a whole four and a half days. You know, I can play Umi Control and Master Duel now. You know, just absolute hater. Finally, someone brings it up. Noel, this is the worst financial decision of my life. A hundred dollars? Oh my God, this retailed for 20. You got fleeced. They wouldn't even be viable in GOAT format. Proxies of the God cards, an alt art you can pick up for five bucks and a single token. 100% correct. Most importantly, you can't play these out of the box with a friend because one of the three decks just does not work. Yugi's DM deck doesn't do anything. It's all, it's got like, five tribute monsters and four four star or lower monsters. Yu-Gi-Oh! Online, if you never got to experience this, was maybe the biggest scam of all time. Uh, you had to pay to duel, like per game you played. This isn't real? Oh yes it is. To duel, players must spend dual pass points. It costs one dual pass point for a duel. Dual pass points are obtained by purchasing dual passes. Purchasing a dual pass gains the player 30 dual pass points, one card in the game, and 10 mileage that can be exchanged for cards. There is an online purchase equivalent to five dual passes. The five cards gained from this type of dual pass are chosen randomly from a set. At one point, sale of dual pass 150 was suspended in the United States due to fraud. You know, I will say, I really liked the rarity bumps for Edison. I appreciated that they gave us Armory Arm that actually worked, but yeah, this set was pretty bad. When you've got Royal Knight of the Ice Barrier on the cover, you know, things are going wrong. A lot of people are mentioning the Dual Disc Replica, but at least it looks cool. Not only is Yusei's Wrist Dealer incredibly lame looking, it makes the destruction of your cards a feature, not a bug. This is awesome. I need one of these. Oh my god, I need one of these. A whole thread of weird Yu-Gi-Oh products. The remote control launcher spider, the blimp dual disc carrier. But to me, the worst was dragon discs. It was like they tried to combine a nerf gun, an action figure, and a dual disc into one bad product. I need that as well. Number Hunters, one of the worst side sets ever, introduced some of the worst Zexal archetypes in Heroic and Chronomaly and the numbers it introduced were garbage. You don't like Shimoji Soldier? Come on now. McDonald's? These didn't have to be good, they were cool. So that's that. I think one of the comments said it best when they said that at least our bad products are literally products. It's just sets with poor cards in them and not actual scams. Wizards, you wanna send me some packs? Hey everybody, oh, you know what? Actually, let me close the door.